All right, we're going to do a composite. I'm going to show you exactly how to do a composite just like this one. There's a lot of cool uh, little uh, things that uh, go along with making a composite like this. Now we're going to start with a uh, blank canvas and we're going to make the pinstripe first. Let me show you how that's done. It's a little bit complicated, but bear with me, I'll show you. Okay, I want to grab the image here, the original image of the girl. And the reason I want to do that is I'm going to go to my background color and I'm going to pick a color that's probably right in the image, maybe part of that flower. That's pretty good right there. I'm going to darken it a bit. Just pull that over a bit. And there it is. It's my background color. And I'm going to go to Image, Canvas Size. Now, the actual pinstripe depends on your resolution, your personal tastes. So you might want to experiment with this. This is not dyed in wool. So, but I'm going to, for this image, use 0.2. And 0.2 all the way around. And there it is. You can see I've got a pinstripe all the way around my open canvas here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit um, Magic Wand. I'm going to hit Selection. Then I'm going to go to Inverse. See, I've selected now only the uh, pinstripe. Now I'm going to go to Copy. I'm going to go to Deselect. And what I should do at this point in time is go back and in History to my clean canvas because now what I want to do is I'm going to hit D and that's my default colors. I'm going to go to black. I'm going to go to control select all or control A and if I hit my backspace button it'll make it all black. Now I could have used the paint bu bucket tool just as well but I like using keyboards and shortcuts and all that stuff. So, so now I have a black canvas and that's the color we want. And I'm going to hit deselect or control D. Now remember I copied the pinstripe earlier? Bingo! There it is. Now we're going to go ahead and resize that pinstripe to free transform or control T. And let's just size it down. You can make the pinstripe any shape you want. Totally up to you. There we go. Okay, where are we? If we click off the background, make it invisible, there's our pinstripe. See it? Move it around anywhere you want. Use the move tool. Okay, now comes the tricky part. Getting the images in there. Now let's look at this image for a second. This is the main image of the girl. If I'd have known I was going to make a composite when I did this, I would have probably shot her up against the white or light light gray background to make a nice smooth gradient to make my selection process a lot easier. But at the time we didn't know that, kind of came up later. But anyways, it worked nevertheless. So we're going to use this uh, magic wand. When you have a lot of tones that are close, you want to lower your tolerance. And I'm going to hold the, uh, I'm going to make a selection first. And I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to keep selection. You'll see there's a plus sign when you hold the shift key. Well that means adding your selections, building them one on top of the other. And you keep doing that. Now if you happen to make a mistake, push your Alt key down and you can start removing selections. See? Now I'm not going to go through the whole process because it takes quite a bit of time. And uh, you know, if this doesn't work for you, you can easily go to uh, uh, go to your lasso or magnetic lasso and make a selection nice and slow. You'll probably get there one way or another. And once you're done making your selection, go to uh, Feather and Feather at about anywhere from 3 to 4. Uh, and so that way it smoothens your selection a bit. Okay, having said that, let's go back to the image now. So I'm going to save you all that time. Probably take me an hour to select all that. And we're going to grab the selection here. Pretend that I just selected it all. You'll notice on the bottom, see where there's a dark line right here? That's because once I placed her, I went in and I burned. So I didn't want that sharp, sharp edge of her body, the, her suit, just stopping right there. So I wanted to create a soft vignette. Now in the original image, there's um, a little more of a, uh, a softening effect around the girl. And I'm going to show you that right now, how that's accomplished. If you do this, by the way, if you put the pinstripe and it just is not working for you, um, you can easily go in and just erase it away. Just go like that. 
if it happens to be the only way you can get to making it on the right layer. Or in this case, it just worked out well, where if I just placed her below it, so far anyway, so far so good. These, these things can get a little bit complicated. But anyways, we're going to grab the girl and we're going to make a duplicate layer. Okay? I'm going to go to the bottom layer. I'm going to deselect the top layer. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to blur her. You know what? I meant to really... I wanted to show the top layer. Let's click on the eye. I'm going to go back and do that over again. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Okay? Now, we can't see the layer that I'm blurring until I do that. Then it's really starting to show because I'm blurring the bottom layer. It's kind of a trick. It does two things. It softens the selection that you made in case it's not 100% perfect and it just kind of gives it a nice floaty, cloudy feeling to it. So uh, it's kind of neat. So try that. It works. And there you have it. Alright, so basically with the other images um, we have this one here and we selected just her. Very simple, very very simple. Just a lasso tool and we just went all the way around. Okay, maybe not that sloppy. Went all the way around and they're touching right here, but that's okay, we'll build that up later. Very easy to do, we just cloned it back and selected it and then we went selection feather, you wanted to get that feather up so that you have a nice soft edge. I, actually, you know what? I think in this case we'll even go we'll go to 10, not 19, 10. 9 and 0 are beside each other. So, But let's go look at the image anyways. This is the original. You'll see it right there. Bingo! See? There she is. See how this, the um, selection was nice and soft? Let's drag it on there. And let's have a look at it. I'm going to show you what I mean. See how soft that is? Okay. That's because we feathered it. Now another thing is we lowered the opacity. That's the full and this one was down to 81. There we go. I accidentally moved my line. There, I'll teach me. Let's see where we're going with this. Okay, this image on the background has been, the opacity has been lowered, so it's kind of a dreamlike effect. And that's that one. Same thing with the other one. All we did was we made a selection. See? And this one too. Once we made our selection, I'm kind of cheating here. I'm showing you the actual image, but that's okay. You get the idea, right? So we're just going to grab that one, bring it over, and let's grab the other one while we're here. There's one more. There it is. So we have this image here which we put on the bottom. This image here, you can tell this image here, the opacity is much lower. It's at 42 percent. Okay, see there it is full. It's way too harsh. So we wanted to have a dreamlike effect. Uh, the idea behind this image, of course, is uh, you know, she's dancing and she's getting ready for a show and she's looking at the at the uh, show that's that's happening right there. So, that's sort of what we're going for. So that's the final image, you see, in a nutshell. Done very fast. Well, considering the background issues was done in relative speed. Probably total production time an hour and a half. Uh, once you sit down and do a little bit of tweaking and experimenting. So Again, we've got two layers of the girl. The girl in the bottom is uh, Gaussian blurred after we selected her and put her on the canvas. And this image here in the dance pose, we selected her with a very soft feathering. 
and lowered the vignette down to 81. This image here, uh, same thing. We lowered the uh, opacity down to 42, and this one here was a full opacity, and we just kind of laid them around so that we had basically that's our final product. Simple, very effective. Hope you enjoyed that.